Hey guys, it's Soda Pop Demon, and today I am making a different type of video I usually wouldn't make. This channel was made for animation memes and uh, other stuff that involves with animating and voice acting, but I decided to make a different video about a certain game that people know about. A game that has been hated on and surprisingly people threaten the creators of it. We already know what game I'm talking about, and it's the game that everybody hates. Well, only some people. Garden of Banban. Garden of Banban has already created three games, and they are making a fourth one this month. So, kind of surprising, not gonna lie. Since the game has gotten a lot of attention, and a lot of people playing the game, uh, it also brought my attention too. The only reason why I noticed about the game was because of the character designs and the story and the plot. Also, the hell of acting. Uh, I do not like the voice acting. But honestly, I see the potential in this game. And I feel like it could be better instead of a poppy playtime and a rainbow friends uh frankenstein so since we already know what this video is going to be about why don't we jump into it hopefully you guys enjoy this video so why don't you click that like and subscribe <laughs> i'm gonna be doing this by order uh game order it's because of the characters that appear so first we're gonna do a pillow bird so let's talk about this bird. In the first game of Garden of Banban, Ban, which is the demo, you try to find your kid from the kindergarten you put them in. You find a drone that helps you press big red buttons and open doors and other stuff. In the first game, you find a pillow bird peeking out in the hallway. And to be honest, uh, a lot of people thought it was funny and some people thought it was scary. That, is that real? Hello? Okay. Guys, I never thought I would be scared of a, a bird. Now, to be honest, it does not look scary. I mean, sure, it might give you a, like a bit of a, oh my god. But actually, it just looks goofy when you start to get closer to it. As you continue playing the game, you get chased by a pillow bird. But when you are done chasing, she falls into an abyss where you never see her again. Actually, that's a lie, because you see her in the next two games. Now we know about her appearance, let's talk about her character design and what her theme is. Now, Garden of Ban Ban takes place in a kindergarten, and everyone is a teacher. Ban Ban is the principal, uh, Bambolina is the math teacher, and Jumbo Josh is like a health teacher or PE teacher. I don't know. A pillow bird is also supposed to be a teacher, but I really do not know what her theme is. I don't know what teacher she is or what her subject is for the kindergarten. Her character is supposed to be an overprotected mother taking care of her children and making sure they don't get hurt. Honestly, I don't feel like she would be a teacher, but I want to give her a teacher role. That's why in my design, I gave her the role of a art teacher. I gave her the art teacher role because I felt like that it fitted her and also the colored handprints on her. And I thought that it was a cool idea to think that she'd be an art teacher. She would be the fun art teacher type that would allow kids to draw whatever they want and paint and do fun stuff. She'd be a cool teacher. But I still don't know what to do with the dad and her kids because uh, I know it's a part of the story, but I don't know where to add that in. So maybe I'll talk about it when I redesign uh, the father and the kids. Now, Pillow's character design was kind of hard because she didn't really have anything. None of the characters don't even have any clothes, except for like accessories like a crown or a hat. But uh, I don't know, everyone not having clothes, it just like kind of feels like they're all naked, even though 
their mascots. Now I know Apilla is a bird and she doesn't wear clothes, but I just wanted her to look like a teacher and wear like a cute outfit for her job and stuff. Even though she was created by scientists, I still think that they would want her to like have a cute outfit to represent that she's nice and caring and stuff. Now, I'm done talking about her character design and like what she looked like as a teacher. Now, I'm going to talk about the horror side of her. We don't know what the timeline is for Garden of Ban Ban. I would say that it would take place in its 2000s since of the high tech in there because of the machines they use and the the gyvanium, which is a liquid they use to create the creatures. As I was saying, we don't know the timeline for Garden of Ban Ban and why it's abandoned. But I would suspect that since everyone left the kindergarten and there was no children to be found, uh, no scientists to be found, everyone was probably murdered or something. So I guess that all the creatures would go feral on each other. And since they killed scientists and stuff. They would go feral on each other, and they'd, like, beat each other up. Like, that one scene in Garden of Ban Ban 3, where they all attacked on each other. It was a big fight. Uh, I wouldn't say a fight. It was kind of shitty. But I would expect Apilla to be the more threatening one, since she was the first appearance in the game. And she tried to kill you twice. Since this is supposed to be a horror game... I feel like that Apilla should have some horror themes on her, maybe like blood or like flesh coming out of her, because since she's probably been into fights too. On the right side of the normal Apilla, you can see the more frightening version of her. She looks more feral and you can see her ribs and you can see that her hair is down. I made her like that because I felt like the horror theme and... Also, because she's probably been into fights and she's running like a savage, I thought she'd look like that. I also added Apilla's red eyes because I thought that would add also more horror into it. I don't really like the red eyes in the original game because it looks like she's high and stuff. You know, it doesn't really suit her. Well, I think I talked about everything about this redraw and how I also think about the Garden of Bam Bam community. But like I said, I will redesign every character and the only reason why is because I'm bored and I really want to do it. So hopefully all of you enjoyed the redesign I made for a pillow bird and hopefully you enjoyed the video. The next redesign is going to be Jumbo Josh, and hopefully you guys are prepared for that. I'm glad you guys stayed to the end of the video to see the final product, and I hope everyone has a good day or a good night. But thank you for supporting me, and also thank you for 600 subscribers. That really made my day by looking at my subscribers count. So, bye bye.